Alright guys, so I was gonna go buy something and I was gonna go shopping with you people and it's gonna be a new video, but I kept getting distracted because I'm a horrible commentator. So instead, I'm gonna be out here and if these guys got a sale, I'll look at it, but F and I got stories to tell, alright? And uh, I was gonna do M NMZ today, but I didn't know if I was gonna be better later on today, so I thought, do it now, do it F and now. So. So first off, the reason I did not make this video, this guy is rich as hell, you need to calm down sir, you got like my bank on, alright, you need to stop that. Alright, the reason I did not make a video tomorrow is, here's the excuse. The excuse, I need these, alright, so 50k by the 100, alright, I got that. So uh, when I was about 7 or 6, I was born with canker sores everywhere, uh, you want 2k more? I got you bro I got you bro so and wh what I mean by that is every time like every couple of months I would always get like at least one to two canker sores around my mouth some people is normal some people never had them and some people weren't you know you know they tongued butthole for them you know what I'm saying now <laughs> all right, I don't know if you tongue butthole for canker sores uh, I, I know you do kiss people and uh, I don't I don't know if it's hereditary or not because I did start getting them at around seven so maybe when I was seven I tongued some buttholes ah, that's just weird maybe I don't know I don't remember hopefully no one forced me to tongue their butthole when I was seven that's how I got cankered but it could have happened so <laughs> so bad it's so horrible so this guy's rich where's your fury bro where's your ah oh, I got a fury on you don't got a fury all right so a couple days ago. I got this huge, like, Mount Everest canker sore right on the back of my effing tongue. And so that means when I slept, it would grind against my teeth. Oh, that, that wasn't feeling good. And when I talked, it would grind against my teeth. That wasn't feeling good. And when I ate, holy crap, that wasn't feeling good either. So, yeah, it, it, it sucked. It, it was, like, the worst place to have a canker sore. Well, there could be a couple worse places. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Tell, tell me. Tell me. Where's the worst place to have a canker sore? But, but yeah, I, 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 I was going to be like, okay, I'm going to push through it. I'm going to make a commentary, and then I'm like, oh, it's going to suck. I'm going to be complaining the whole time. It's not going to be good. You know, I might skip a couple parts, and, ooh, that's a six mil? I need to check the prices. So, um, I just, I didn't do it. And plus, Netflix, bro. Season three, Walking Dead, already there. It's only been a week. What's up? What's up? Holy crap. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but if you're watching season three, bring some tissues. I needed some. Manly cry tears. Alright. So, that's my excuse. I had a big old canker sore in the back of my tongue. It's still there. And, uh, it's not, it's not as bad right now. Um, hopefully it won't start acting up during the day. That's why I wanted to make my video now. Even though I'm not doing anything. Sorry guys. I... Uh, Maybe I should be woodcutting or something, but uh, I, I got stories to tell, and these people aren't selling crap, and in there I'd have a seizure, you know what I'm saying? So, one story from college that I'm going to tell you, because I'm waiting, I, I got a lot of stories added up so I can tell you when I'm doing something, but for right now, I just want to, <laughs> I want to tell you one story. What's a ring of wealth? Oh, I got two of those. Alright, so, um, it was mid midday, I had classes or not classes, I um I was on my free break during then between classes and I've been having like gas all day because you know it's 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 my first couple days of college. I'm scared. Hello you. Um so I'm like holy crap. I I you know, I'm just you know, I'm scared. I haven't been in this Gosh, that's what you want to talk to me about, Effin. Alright, stop ignoring mm, all right. no, I'm not gonna do that, I'm a dick. Alright, so <laughs> losing track of my story here. So I had gas, and I was nervous, and I had to pee. So uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I'm not so good in these public bathroom situations. And if there's any girls watching or hearing, uh, I'm sorry. But uh, it's going to get a little gruesome right now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little gruesome. So uh, plug your ears or something. Um, <laughs> oh, crap. So I, uh, I had to take a piss. So I walked to the urinal, and there's a guy next to me, which is weird because you don't want to piss right next to a guy, but it happened. And uh, it and he was like, you know, taking away the you know, and uh, over here I got I got my dong out, my hands on it, and nothing's coming out. So I'm just waiting there, you know, pretty much just holding on to my dong. And I'm just like, come on, piss. Why am I not pissing? And I'm like, okay. 
and every time I pushed, I would almost let out a fart, and people know this, when you, when you pee really hard, sometimes you fart, and I'm like, I don't want to do that, I'm in a bathroom filled with people, I just, it would not be cool, so I was like, just standing there for like a minute, not peeing, it was the weirdest thing, it was like I was a creeper, just sitting there with my dong out next to people peeing, so I was like, alright, come on, so I pushed a little bit, you hear, yeah, effing farted hell loud while I was taking a piss right next to like a couple people you know how hard it was to keep a straight face especially when the fart sounded like someone stepped on a whoopee cushion holy crap I almost died but uh, I, I think I played it off to blame it on the guy on the stall I'm like I kind of looked at the stall and the people were like looking at the stall I was like mm. so <laughs> oh uh, I, I don't know it was for me it was a funny story just because bathroom public bathroom places are uncomfortable for me so it just that happening would it kills me it kills me inside but you know for most most people they just whip down their pants and show their dick to people and they don't give a crap so i'm not i'm not that kind of guy i like my dick and my pants so i hope you guys enjoyed the really boring video today i do have stories about the blind teacher and some other teachers but i'm gonna save that for when i'm doing something so hopefully I'll be doing some NMZ later today or something and get it done. Alright, thanks for watching guys and peace out.